ever try to swat a housefly and it's like they dodge in slow motion? Like, how do they react so fast? It's a good point to bring up, actually. They're on a different clock than we are. They experience time differently. Right, and D-theory digs into that, how time might not be a constant, but influenced by how we process info. So today we're diving into D-theory, or quantum temporal mechanics, this new way of understanding time based on this upcoming ebook. Yeah, this book tackles misconceptions about time head on. Like what? Give me the mind blowing stuff. Well, first up, time being universal, like one giant clock for everything D-theory says, not so fast. So my time and that flies time, totally different. Exactly. It gets deeper. Our consciousness might even shape our own time. Whoa, okay. So time travel, possible then. Or still sci-fi land. D theory is open to it through things like, uh, what are they called? Traversable wormholes, shortcuts in space time. So more interstellar, less back to the future. Yeah, we're not building wormhole spaceships yet, but the theory's there, built on quantum mechanics. Wild. But wouldn't time travel mess everything up? Paradoxes and all that? That's where alternate timelines come in. <laughs> like countless realities branching off with every choice. Exactly. You wouldn't change your past. Just enter a new timeline with different outcomes. So infinite me's out there living out every possible choice. This is getting heavy. Right. And then there's the idea of the universe being eternal, always existing. D theory says, not so sure. Yeah, it's always been there. Comforting thought. But we've got the Big Bang, a start, and theories like the Big Crunch or heat death. The universe might have a lifespan, too. Okay, so much to unpack already. What are the core ideas of D theory, then? Where does it all begin? It all starts with information. D-theory says reality is fundamentally information, not just stuff. Like, e everything's code, data, experiences. Instead of I think, therefore I am, it's more like I process, therefore I experience. Yeah. And that leads to digital presentism, a key part of D-theory. Digital presentism. Okay, got to break that down. It means, like, the present moment is all that's real in the wow. sense that it's happening now, but the past and future exist as information. Wait, so how can they exist if only the present is real? Think back to the housefly. You both experience now, but you process it differently. So it's like experiencing different versions of the present. Like we're watching the same movie, but our brains play it at different speeds. Perfect analogy. And that leads to the theta point and the conscious instant. Two more big D theory ideas. Hit me with it. What are those? Okay, imagine uh, reality is like a movie, streaming. Okay, got the visuals. Each frame, that's a conscious instant, your experience right then, theta point that's the peak where all the what ifs the pasts and futures you could have had they collapse into the now so every new frame that's a theta point a new instant we're jumping through those constantly making our reality exactly and since d theory is all about consciousness shaping this it means we got free will not just watching but choosing which frames happen so every choice new frame new timeline heavy stuff does it ever end, though? Like, with all these timelines, what about when we die? This is where it gets really wild, even kind of spooky. Quantum immortality, that's the thing. Quantum immortality sounds like a comic book. No superpowers, but the idea that your consciousness, it might not be stuck on one timeline. Those branches we talked about. Imagine one where instead of, say, an accident, you're fine. Consciousness keeps going on that path. So some version of me dodged that car, never got that illness, and my consciousness like went along that timeline. That's the idea. Mind-blowing, but fits with D-theory. Consciousness is fundamental, maybe even outside our normal space and time. A lot of processing happening over here. Mm. Okay, shifting gears a bit. The ebook mentions the universe as a simulation. That's a popular idea online, but is there any science to it? Funny you mention that, because D-theory actually gives a way to think about that seriously. If reality is information at its core, and the universe is like a giant computer, always processing, then being a self-simulation, not so crazy. So not only are we maybe shaping time, but we're in the matrix, except no red pill to escape. That's the question, right? D-theory doesn't have all the answers, but it's like we had a magnifying glass, now we got a telescope. My mind's definitely expanding. But this all seems theoretical. What evidence is there for D-theory? It's not just philosophy. It's built on quantum mechanics, real science. Quantum mechanics, that's like the tiny stuff, atoms and particles, right? How's okay. it connected? Right. And what they found is, at that level, the universe breaks the rules we know. Superposition, entanglement, those are real, measured in labs. So actual experiments back this up, not just thinking about it. Yeah. 
And there's more computational neuroscience. The study of how brains process info is showing something interesting, too. Computational? That, that's a mouthful. What's that about? It's saying parts of the brain, they might be computing in more than just our three dimensions. Like, our brains might already handle time in a way D-theory says is possible. You mean we're wired for this, but just don't realize it consciously? That's what it's looking like. We're barely scratching the surface of what our minds can do, according to D-theory. This is wild. If we've got it so wrong about time, what does that mean for the future? Where do we even go from here? Endless possibilities. But one area where D-theory gets really intriguing is AI, artificial intelligence. AI? What's the connection? Well, if consciousness shapes time, then AI becoming conscious, that could change everything. Imagine an AI thinking a million times faster, mm -hmm. making decisions instantly that take us years. So machines experiencing time totally different from us? It's possible. And if that happens, how would they see the universe? How yeah. would they see us? That's what D-theory makes us think about. Okay, that is a lot to process. Time travel, alternate me's, the universe as a simulation, and now AI changing everything. And we've just scratched the surface. The ebook goes even further. Anti-time, the omega point. Anti-time. Okay, we need another deep dive for all that because my brain's full. Okay, I think I've had a moment to like reboot my brain after all that. Time travel, alternate realities, us living in a simulation, AI going off the charts. It's a lot. It really makes you question everything you thought you knew about, well, reality. Right, but I guess that's the point of D-theory, right? It's not just giving us answers, but making us ask these huge questions. Exactly. And I think... For me, one of the biggest takeaways is that we might have way more influence on our reality than we realize. Like if consciousness shapes time, our choices, even our thoughts, could be way more powerful than we thought. So we're not just along for the ride. We're actually shaping the ride as we go. That's kind of empowering. It's a huge responsibility, too. But it means we're not just passive observers. We're active participants in creating our own experience. Okay, so where do we go from here? How do we actually use this information? That's the exciting part. We're still figuring it out. But D-theory gives us this whole new perspective, a new way of looking at ourselves and the universe. It's like we've been playing checkers and suddenly someone's introduced us to 3D chess. Mind blown. So for our listeners who've been on this wild ride with us, what's the one thing you want them to take away from all of this? I'd say remember that reality is far more fluid more flexible, and way more awe-inspiring than we tend to think. There's a universe of possibilities out there, and it all starts with daring to ask the big questions and pushing the boundaries of what we think we know. Thanks for exploring D-theory with us. Extadelic Media.